In this video, you will learn how you can create an employee onboarding meeting in Zoom application automatically using Airtable. So guys, Airtable is a, a database or spreadsheet kind of application and here we are connecting it as our trigger application in the automation workflow and here you just have to add the details of your new employees in Airtable space and a Zoom meeting will be created automatically for that employee and the link of the meeting will be sent to the same employee automatically via an email using Gmail application and we are going to set up this automation without any coding very easily. So let's start. So to set up this automation guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli and I have pasted the same link in the description as well. Okay, so guys from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account by clicking on sign up free button and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay, so you can just sign up right now from this link and after that you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application and from here you have to click on this create workflow button to set up this automation workflow. So here I am going to enter the workflows name as employee onboarding meeting on zoom via Airtable. Okay. So you can give any other name as well and after giving the name just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here and on the workflow page you will find these two modules the trigger and the action. So trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the response or the consequence of the trigger. So in the trigger module you have to connect the trigger application first in which the trigger event is going to occur. So in our use case Airtable would be our trigger application and adding of details of employees will act as a trigger event okay and the action towards the trigger would be to create a meeting and send an email okay so i am going to search for a table here first here it is selected okay then you have to select the trigger event as new record all right then click on connect and from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the API key of Airtable. So you'll get the key from the account section of Airtable. So you just have to go to the, your Airtable space and from here you will find this profile icon. From here you'll find this account section. So open the account section and here when you scroll down you will find this key right here. You just have to open it and copy it and paste this key here in this field like this and then click on save and you'll be connected with Airtable. Okay. So we are connected and here it is us, uh, saying every 10 minutes. Okay, this means this trigger is going to check for new data in every 10 minutes and this workflow will run. Okay, if there is a new data in the rows. Okay, and here it is asking for selecting the base's name. So the name of my base is this. You can see employee details. This is my base. So I'm going to select the name from here. Employee details. Okay. All right, and here you can see the tables name is selected like this automatically table one because we have only one table right now named as table one, right? And the trigger field. So your a table base must have a created time field type. Okay, so this created time field uh, captures the date and time on which you're adding the details in the row. You can see I have added this field here in this column. Okay, the type of this column you can see is created time. Okay, so it captures the date and time on which you enter the details of a, a row here. So this column actually triggers the workflow. So you should have you must have this column inside your a table space. Okay, right. So you can just read the instructions uh, how you can do that how you can create a created time field. Now guys just click after creation uh, of the table you can insert the data in rows like this as I have inserted of uh, inserted the details of any dummy employee and after that you can just click on save and send test request button here and the details of that uh, employee will be captured here like this okay so this this response is going to show you the most recent data that you have entered in the table. Okay, so I have only one row here that got captured. So it is showing the same details. The employee name is dummy name. You can see. 
okay department logistics and everything is here uh, and also the uh, created time dates and uh, time as well okay now guys after getting the data what we want we want to generate a meeting in zoom for this employee okay and for that we are going to use this action step so from this action step now you have to connect with zoom so search for zoom here then select the action event as create a meeting then click on connect button from here select add new connection and then click on connect with zoom all right and you can see we are getting connected here so as i have already logged in it just got connected if you are not logged in it might bring you to the login window first okay and you can see here it is asking the topic of the meeting the type of the meeting the start time the duration so guys we have the test data here of uh, any uh, test employee or demo employee like this from a table so uh, we can fill in these details or map these details in these fields and here you can see it is asking for the topic so i am going to write the topic as employee onboarding meeting okay this will be the topic the type of the meeting is is a scheduled meeting because we want to uh, schedule this meeting uh, a day after we add we add the row here we add the details here we do not want an instant meeting okay so to schedule this meeting we should have a start time uh, of the meeting as well and you have to enter the start time in this same format as it has given here okay in this yymmdd a teen between hours minutes and seconds format okay and here you can see in this uh, first step the trigger step we have received the date and time of the creation of the field like this okay so we can use this date and time but we have to change this date and time okay so we do not want to create an instant meeting we want that when i enter the details here in a table one day after that uh, date the meeting should be created should be scheduled so we are going to add one more day to this date and we are going to keep the time as it, as it is and the meeting will be scheduled according to that date so to change this date here ju just click here on this plus icon in between these two steps and another action step will open up here from here i'm going to search for date time formatter feature of pavli connect and here in the action event i'm going to select this uh, add slash subtract time option so with the help of this we can add or subtract days months or uh, hours or minutes or seconds or anything in any given date okay so select this option then click on connect and here it is asking to enter the date in which you want to um, add or subtract anything so we got the date here in this step in this uh, created time label okay you can use any of these labels i am going to use the created time label just click here and the previous step will appear here in the drop down like this and when you click on it you will find all the data here only so from here map the date label created time label okay now it is asking for the expressions to change this time or to add or subtract that time so i want to add one day to this date so i'm going to put the expression here as plus one day okay according to the given expressions here okay and it is asking uh, to which format you want to change this date now so i want that this date should remain as it is because we have to place the same date here in this format in this yymmdd t in between hours minutes and seconds format so i'm going to select this format here you can see yymmdd a t in between so select this format and from which format we got the date we got the date in this exact same format so select the same format here also right then click on save and send test request and one day will be added to the date you can see the previous date was 7 12 2022 now the changed date is 8 12 2022 okay now we got a date changed and now we can place this date here you just have to click here and here you can see it is not showing the previous steps because we have added uh, one more step here so you just have to refresh this connection with zoom just click on connected one more time and from here keep this select existing connection option selected and then click on save and your connection will be refreshed here with zoom okay now when you click here it will show you the previous steps and from the second step map this result label to map the date 
and it is a 45 minutes meeting so you have to enter the duration in minutes here so i'm putting 45 here okay time zone you can enter you can use these steps also also but these are not compulsory things so i'm leaving these things blank in the agenda uh, you can put uh, employee onboarding if you want okay just to be more clear and specific right now you can check your connection with zoom by clicking on save and send test request button and a demo or a test meeting will be generated here in your zoom application this is my zoom applications dashboard guys and these are my upcoming meetings let me click on save and send test request here and see if there is a new meeting created or not so this is the response we have received let us check in zoom if we got a new meeting i am refreshing the meeting section all right and here you can see guys we got a new meeting scheduled here at this time tomorrow okay tomorrow that means the date we have entered and the title of the meeting is employee onboarding meeting so this is the same meeting that we want to create and it got created automatically right right and here you can see guys in the same response we have received the starting url of the meeting and the joining url of the meeting as well so i want to share this joining url with my employee and i'm going to do it with the help of an email so for that just click here on this plus icon and from this another action step search for gmail application to to send a email here is gmail and the action event would be send email then click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with gmail and from this window choose the account gmail account by which you want to send the email okay then provide some additional access to public connect just click on continue that is completely safe and here you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected with gmail and here it is asking for the recipient's email address so we have received the data of our employee in the first step only in the trigger only so from this trigger just click here and from this trigger map the email address of the employee in cc or bcc you can put any one you want i'm leaving this blank sender's name i'm entering the sender's name as hr you want to enter anything you can enter anything email subject so i'm going to map the subject from this first step so the subject of the meeting sorry not from the subject first step from this third step actually subject of the meeting is this employee onboarding meeting subject of the email okay content will be plain here you can type the whole email that you want to send so let me type an email here so i have written this email dear this is to inform you that tomorrow you have an onboarding session to attend on zoom please be, re be ready and join the meeting sharp at so here i'm going to fill in some details after dear i want to place the name of uh, the employee which you will find from this first step from the trigger so in the drop down from this uh, a table step map the name like this and here please be ready and join the meeting sharp at so here i am going to map the time at which we have created the meeting this is the start time map it here and you can join the meeting through the link so here i am going to map the joining url from this last zoom step this is the joining url okay so this is how you can map the data inside the emails and the fields or the labels that you have that you have mapped here are going to change with every new email that is going to be sent automatically okay that's why we map the things here okay now uh, if you have any attachment you can place the attachments here and then can check the connection with email by, uh, by with gmail by clicking on save and send test request button and a test email will be delivered to this email address okay so to show you the demo i'm going to fill in my email address here and see how the email is going to look like so let's say this is the email inbox of an employee and here i'm clicking on save and send test request button and this is the response we have received let's see in the inbox if we got a new email and here we have a new email from hr this is the subject employee onboarding meeting and this is the content dear dummy name this is to inform you that you have an onboarding session to attend on zoom this is the joining link and you have to join sharp at this time so from this link the employee can join the meeting so this is how it is going to work guys this is how you can send the emails of 
meeting URLs automatically and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that whenever you are going to add any detail of any new employee in your Airtable space the zoom meetings will be created automatically and the links will be sent to your employees automatically on their emails like this okay and the workflow is going to run in the background and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel